I have another perilous task for you. Excellent. We must find every last one of these artifacts. are one of my least favorite citizens. Don't watch it. I can smell something ancient and recently unearthed on you. Ah yes, the very thing. I have another archaeological adventure for you if you're interested. This is what my latest research indicates would be a good target. Ah! I'd love to know what happened. And in that spire. It's the game for hardcore gamblers. Kill her, the bounty is out.
Yes! Yes! Don't you have something for me? Ah, yes, the very thing. I have another archaeological adventure for you if you're interested. Here is what I have on the item so far. Don't let archaeology down. If only I had the authority. Don't miss. It's with me, citizen. Haven't you found it yet? Actually live in the grave. There it is. How wonderful. Rather creepy. People are being kidnapped by slavers. It's terrible. Boo! Are you here for more exciting trips into the unknown past? Good. I've written down the details for you.
Excellent! Yes, at last. I was right. I've done it! With this final piece of the secret code, I can finally open the door. Ah. Uh, mm. Aha. Uh -huh. Hmm, who knows what ancient perils lie inside. I'm sure it would represent little challenge for someone like you, though. Do this last small task for me, and I'll reward you handsomely. You have it. The Archon's dream. It was thought lost forever. I have dedicated my whole life to its study. May I please have it now? In exchange for a very generous sum of gold, of course. I would never have found it without you. I can't allow you to leave with it. You'd have to kill me first. Oh, I've dreamt of this moment since childhood. The mythic Archon's dream. Thank you for all your help. I'm so overwhelmed. I'm going to write a lengthy academic paper about the whole experience. And just where do you think you're going? Oh, I know all about you. Think demon doors are your little toys to open as you please. Well, not me. I am the greatest, grandest, and oldest of all doors. 
And I open to no one. So run along and find another sentient piece of rock to bother. Greetings, madam, and welcome to Castle Fairfax. I trust it will prove satisfactory to your requirements. The dining chamber and your new study are located to the left of the main hall. To the right, you will find the tower and the royal suite. If I may be so bold, I highly recommend a brief repose in the regal bed. It is said to do wonders for one's well-being. Those who have slept in the regal bed 
have commended its remarkable powers of recuperation. I'm sorry to inconvenience you, madam, but the castle appears to be under attack. It would seem that the intruders entered the property via a secret passage in the library. I've heard all about you, fear monster. I heard there was a prophecy about you. Yeah, something about the worst marksman of all time. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> Well done, madam. Most impressive. If I may be so bold, I would venture to suggest that this was their point of entry. Perhaps it would be wise to investigate this matter further. As for me, I regretfully announce the end of my brief tenure at your service. 
My predecessor neglected to inform me of the highly hazardous nature of the post, and I am of a somewhat nervous disposition, as you have no doubt noticed. Good day, madam.
Congratulations on acquiring this fine potion of highly surprising transformation. The latest in gender-bending technology. You now have the power to change your sex. Warning, gender change is permanent. Potion will evaporate upon leaving this dungeon. Side effects may include unsettling new odors and unusual hair growth. This magically recorded message has been brought to you by Lionhead Alchemy Incorporated.
my line. It's all I have. Let me keep it. Jack of Blades tried to open me once. It was before his dragon phase, but it wouldn't have made any difference. We are meant to stand the tests of time and care nothing for human happiness or suffering. Try telling that to the door in Oakfield, though. Sentimental fool. My source has finally come through. I have in my hands the item that offers visions of the future, and it's, well, not quite what I was expecting. I was hoping for a nice crystal ball or some pretty cards. Even a bucket of entrails would have been better than this. Here, you can have it. I'll never be able to sell it to anyone else. And to tell you the truth, it gives me the willies, and not the good kind. Best of luck with that, and... Don't let anyone know I let you have it for free. You can just imagine what that would do to my reputation. Here you are again. You knew you'd return here one day, did you not? I know what your question is. Yes, the Spire had a gift for me too. The future has always whispered to me, and I have followed its sound blindly. But now I can see all possible futures. There are many threads, too many to count. Yet there are moments when they all converge. Events that cannot be avoided. Futures which must be fulfilled. It is time I showed you one such future. Take my hand. One last time.
It is many years from now. A king feels age weighing him down, and the responsibility of an entire kingdom. These are his men. Loyal soldiers who would die for him. Many already have, on battlefields at home and in faraway lands. They would follow him wherever he leads. These are his people, subjects who fear his wrath, who bow to his will and obey his every word. We are your loyal subjects, O king of everything. And this is his throne, Albion's seat of power, where he has made countless decisions, delivered brutal justice and declared wars. Yet none of this is of the least importance. This is the real future. His child, not yet born, but destined for greatness. A child on whom the fate of Albion will depend one day, as will the fate of Aurora. These things you will understand in time. For now, you must live your life and prepare for what is to come. Take care, little sparrow, and remember, I am always here, always watching. Back from your visit to the future. I trust it was a favourable one, yes? You don't want to go to all that trouble to find out you're croaking it tomorrow. <laughs> I've been doing rather splendidly for myself, all thanks to you. There's no better advertising than people see you obtaining all these rare and miraculous objects. My source? Well, I guess you know who she is now. Left one last thing for you. Something only a hero could hope to enjoy. I don't want to spoil the surprise, but have your weapon ready when you use it. Best of luck, old friend. And remember to keep shopping at Murgo's. Try our amazing new toothbrushes, guaranteed to polish your... Smile to the purest. W <laughs>